Avro Air or CF-105 an advanced supersonic, twin-engined, all-weather interceptor jet aircraft developed by Avro of Canada from 1949 until the government's controversial cancellation of the project in 1959. Encouraged by A.V. Rowe's success in developing the Avro CF-100 Canuck and recognizing the need for an aircraft to counter the threat of Soviet bombers over the demanding Canadian North, enthusiastic RCAF officers, defense scientists and defense industry officials had persuaded the Liberal government by December 1953 to authorize two prototype airframes in anticipation of a production run of up to 600 aircraft costing $2 million apiece. Canada was also forced to develop the Aero's engine and fire control and missile systems and estimated costs rose to $12.5 million per aircraft. Test flights indicated that with the proper engines the plane could well be the world's fastest and most advanced interceptor. However doubts mounted as the government's order shrank to 100 and unit costs rose in October 1958 to cut costs. The new conservative government terminated Canadian fire control and missile development and renewed efforts to sell the aircraft to the U.S. Just when the U.S. was promoting Bamark missiles and the USSR's launch of an ICBM missile was raising doubts about the priority of the Soviet bomber threat, after export efforts again failed, the project was cancelled on 20 February 1959. A.V. Rowe bitterly fired 14,000 employees, the government ordered all plans and prototypes destroyed and many Canadians bemoaned the devastation of Canada's aircraft industry, the resulting flight of scientists and engineers to the U.S., and Canada's renewed dependence on the U.S. for interceptor aircraft. The Aero did have a weapon system. The weapon system in question was the Astra Sparrow 2 missile system. The Sparrow 2 was a radar-guided missile with a nuclear warhead. Some tests were made with this missile with CF-100s and the Aero would be able to carry from four to six missiles of this type. More could have been carried if there would have been missile mounts under the wings. But this weapons system increased costs drastically. In fact it was one of the major factors in taking the step to scrap the entire Aero program. It rose costs through the roof and bad communication between the RCAF and the government made the situation worse. 